Hello. Today I want to show you what I want to do with the Vitalus wheel unit. The current solution I use on the Vitalus is quite good, but the Dynamics of servos are running on their limits and I'm afraid this can shorten their lifetime. So I decided to redesign the whole wheel unit to be more rigid, more powerful, more faster and I hope so a little bit cheaper. This idea came when I was watching the YouTube channel Scientific. This man makes robotic arms and use the compound planetary gearbox in his actuator. So I decided to use one in my wheel unit. It is a nice solution because there are no bearings, the motor can be inside the wheel and it makes a compact design. Yeah. I tried a few prototypes, it was working great, but there was one problem. This problem is noise. Huh. Noise is not the right word. It, it was a terribly loud sound. It sounds like a blender. Uh, listen. I try to put the grease on the gears, reduce the number of planetary gears, change the gear ratios. I made more prototypes than you can see now. Some of them were better, but the sound was still too loud. The printed gears are not precise, and input speed of the motor is too high, and it results in this ugly sound. I haven't found how to reduce this sound. And I don't want to get a robot with four blenders in a wheel. So, I decide to use a planetary gearbox as a wheel axis and reduce the input speed on the gear are added into the ring gear. It's this one. Finally, it looks like the best solution. There are no bearings. It's almost all 3D printed, only with screws and nuts, and it's quiet. So, I'll show you how it works. I start at the maximum speed of the current Vitalus wheel unit. It's half meter per second. All speed is computed on the wheel diameter and it's uh, 210 millimeters. Yeah. It's quiet. It's much quieter than the Vitalus now with Dynamics servos. And it's powerful. It has 50 newton meters. Oh, now I show you one meter per second.
I can hear it, but it's still quiet. It's still quiet here, and the dynamics of servos at the maximum speed. It's still strong. I can stop it. it Burns my fingers during friction. Yeah. Now I'll show you 2.9 meters per second. It's 10 kilometers per hour. I think this speed is enough for the tools. It's more than I need. It's still a little bit louder, but I think it's still acceptable for this speed. Yeah, it's very fast. So I stop it now. I use the Mateus controller from MJ Bots. I like this controller because everything is integrated. I use this uh, controller with uh, 5208 brushless motor. It's here. This heatsink is from MJ Bots development kit. I'm not sure if this heatsink is enough for real usage. In the final design, I probably designed my my own my own version, but uh, I left the place to use this one too. It's handy. This design is nice because it is it is rigid. I can push with all my might and the support and wheel are still in the right angle. So I think it's look promising. Now I have to design a wall wheel unit with supports and start testing. It probably takes some time. So I show you later. Bye.